This is Nashville's News 2 at 10. I would be outraged if she came home to me with a pistol. This father's decision to walk home after a night with a friend may have saved countless lives because along the way, he found a loaded gun with hollow point bullets. Good evening, I'm Samantha Fisher. And I'm Bob Mueller. That's not all. It looked like a police officer's utility belt, including more bullets and handcuffs. Tonight, in a News 2 exclusive, the man shows News 2's Joseph Pleasant where he found it. I was walking, I was actually right here uh, by the sewer drain or the electric outlet right here. Billy Jones Jr. retraced his steps from early Sunday morning along East Main Street in Murfreesboro, not far from MTSU, near these soccer fields. Jones decided to walk home from Gentleman Jim's Bar and Grill after a night out. I actually spotted it right here in the grass, right here on the side of the road, actually in this spot here, and uh, picked it up and discovered that it was a loaded pistol. The gun is similar to this one pictured on the web. In addition to the gun, Jones found three 15-round clips with 40 caliber bullets, a set of handcuffs similar to these, and other accessories on the police duty belt that resembles this one. He took the gun and all the other items home. When he woke up later Sunday morning, he turned it over to university police. That's when the situation got more complicated. University police say the gun belt isn't theirs. And when Murfreesboro got the gun, they said it wasn't theirs either. Plus, according to police spokesman Kyle Evans, none of the items have been reported missing or stolen. This is, you can see, a, a public facility where people play. Jones is a father. He says he can't imagine if someone else would have come across the gun, especially if it had been children, because a number of kids live in the area. I would be outraged if she came home to me with a pistol. Murfreesboro police told Jones they're going to hold on to the weapon and all the other items for 30 days. If no one claims them, they told him he could have them. In Murfreesboro, Joseph Pleasant, Nashville's News 2. We also contacted the Rutherford County Sheriff's Office and the Tennessee Highway Patrol to see if any of their officers lost their duty belt and service weapon. Both said none of their officers' weapons are missing.